Hey, this is Angry Bill for Pre-Hospital Wisdom. Uh, I want to talk to you about the first rule of EMS. So I have two rules for EMS. Rule number one, don't kill anyone. Rule number two, always look cool. Actually, that's the original version of my EMS rules. Rule number one is kind of morphed into uh, don't make anyone worse off from don't kill anyone and changed into leaving people better off, making their issue a little bit better than when you met them. But it wasn't as catchy and memorable a thing to say for the two rules. So that's why I went with don't kill anyone. We spend a lot of time in classes learning to save lives. It's unfortunate that nobody expressly explains that our job isn't often to save a life. Our job is to start the process of fixing the problem that the people called us for. Everyone has a different threshold for which a problem is unmanageable to them. For some, it's being pulseless due to a gunshot wound. For others, it's loneliness. But our job usually exists somewhere between those two. Your problem threshold isn't germane to the discussion. We understand that it's probably higher than your patients. If I count lives saved as the only way that my time was not wasted, and the only metric of a successful call, then I'll burn out quickly. We do not usually save anyone. Sorry to break that to you. I'll grant that there are rare calls in which we can save a life. A chunk of steak in an airway comes to mind. But those only happen a few times in a long career. Even a cardiac arrest with field ROSC hasn't been saved by EMS. We've only started a very long process that is continued by dozens of people in the hospital. All we did is leave them better off than where they were when we found them. Thus, to me, it was a success. This is also true of the Pulse's GSW victim pronounced on arrival. The patient may have died, but I left them better off than when I found them. For the most part, hopefully. It may not even have been possible to save their life. So if the hospital pronounces that patient, does that make everything I did a useless fa string of failure? It's a successful call when I can give analgesia to someone who's in pain. I can comfort someone who's scared, offer good advice to someone who doesn't know what to do, or even just set up the hospital for future successes by starting an IV, taking vital signs. All those are successful calls. We have a lot of those. Just focus on leaving people better off than when you found them, when you're not on a life or death call, no matter what their problem is. Your self-image will more closely align with reality. You'll have more job satisfaction. You'll be happier. You'll be able to focus on what your job really entails. As for rule number two, look cool. I don't think I have to say that you can't succeed at rule two if you failed at rule one. Maybe I'll expand more on the concept of looking cool a little bit later. Hey, puppy. Anyway, this is Angry Bill for Pre-Hospital Wisdom. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. All those things really help the channel. I'd especially like to hear what you'd like to see more of. Anyway, until next time, stay safe.